Hi, my name is Eric Cabela from Advanced Motion Controls. In this video, I'm going to show you how to run the auto commutation sequence. First thing we need to do is connect to the drive. I am using a USB drive, so I select the USB, my device, serial number, and press connect. This will take a few seconds for it to load. Once it loads, we're going to want to come over here and verify our, what our limits are set to. I'm set to 5 amps peak, 2 amps continuous. I'm also going to want to check on my motor parameters page. I have this feedback device. It's set for 2,500 lines per revolution with hall sensors. And I'm going to actually set these to 120 degrees apart just so we can make sure that that's what it's at. Now I press apply. This stores non volatile memory. This will take a second. Now we're going to come over here to the AutoCom window. From here, we're going to want to enable the drive and press start auto commutation. Now, if you read this, the motor is going to spin two and a quarter revolutions at two amps, which is what we limited the drive to in our current limits page. So press yes. The drive will sit and hold a position. It might move a little bit. Press OK once it stops moving. And it's going to start rotating slowly. It's going to rotate two and a quarter revolutions there and back. Now the benefit of auto commutation is this allows you to just hook up the motor leads in any order you want or for example some motor manufacturers don't define phases A, B, and C equal to halls A, B, and C in the right order. This will actually detect that and reline them up internally in the firmware for you. So we're almost halfway there and it should start turning around which it did for me. And it will do another two and a quarter revolutions here. Okay, so now we're going to want to make sure we tell the drive that yes, it went the two and a quarter revolutions like I was supposed to. And it'll come up with maybe it found something different than what was in the motor parameters page. So, for example, we found other hall phasing, meaning, so you just press OK here. This means that the halls aren't exactly 120 degrees apart, but they're close and the drive now knows where they are and can account for it. So here we'll press apply. This will store everything to non-volatile memory. And we are done and good to go.